So on the serve, the main reason that you want to have the racket here when you jump is because what that does is this is going to create the legs and the angular momentum rotating is going to create racket head speed going down the back like that. This motion right here is used to generate rackets, racket head speed this way and the top players utilize a principle in biomechanics called a stretch shortened cycle. So what's going to happen is if you actually measured it, while, the ra while you're jumping this way and turning, even though the racket is moving down, the muscle is actually trying to go up. So the less velocity that a muscle is contracting at equals more force. So this uh, negative velocity creates like a supercharging effect, which gives it 100% force capability. Um, this is like the biggest contributor to power on the serve, which is why a server like Andy Roddick actually starts from this position. He'll toss, and when he jumps, his racket is actually here. He has the, one of the most extreme abbreviated windups of all time, which is because he actually uses conscious contraction, he externally rotates, and jumps at the same time, and that in combination is really, really difficult to time. But if you do it well enough, that maximizes the amount of racketed speed coming down this way, which also maximizes the amount of stretch, which maximizes the amount of power. And if you pull all that off at the same time and then accelerate up, keeping it on edge, that's gonna give you the most amount of power up to that position. So that's the biggest contributor power on the serve. Um, things that contribute to that are keeping the chest back and laterally tilted this way, and then going up and almost kind of creating like a flat plane, throwing the right elbow straight up and going into it. Good.